now. Hello everybody and welcome back, or welcome to Hitman 3. Welcome back to the Hitman world in Hitman 3, the brand new game. Uh, so, I've played through all the Hitman, I played through Hitman 1 and 2. I don't think I recorded all, me playing all of it. I think I recorded like a couple parts in each game, then stopped, then on my own time finished the games. They were fun games. I liked them. Don't really know the story too much. I acknowledge. Uh, I, quick, I very quickly watched a recap video trying to explain it. From I gathered, you, Agent 47, are a assassin working for the ICA. I don't know what that stands for. And your tasks with missions, go kill people. Uh, then a whole thing happened where the people you were killing, the intel was taken from a shadow client who turns out to be a clone, just like you are. You're a clone number 47 in this wide thing where people are making clones to make the perfect assassin. You're the perfect assassin, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, that's how far I got. I, I don't know the rest. <laughs> it does on size, confirm. Oh. I did. From our one-time carryover progression to unlock and unlocks unlocks into Hitman 3. Uh fuck it, can I do this? Eh, just in case it's weird Go like that. You know, not that one. Uh. Hmm. I'm trying to remember how far. I know people were doing this earlier and they were having issues with the website. Yeah, not even loading. You know what? I don't think I've got that much stuff even into other than like the main stuff you get. Ooh, if you decide to perform a carryover pro process at a later time, all Hitman 3 progression and unlocks earned, the point will be overwritten. Yeah, screw it. Uh, training facility, I remember how to play this game, I think. Campaign. Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. That's the first game. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. I thought, didn't you kill them in two? I guess not. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. So are they the same models it, since they're clones? They were just assets to use and throw away to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant 
Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. We able to jump in? It's time. Where are we going? So I don't remember the end of two. Oh, the tower. I think they showed that in the trailer. I thought at the end of two, you captured the guy, but then he escaped. The partners are down there. Maybe you got the info you needed already. I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? Oh, it's a helicopter. What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirmed target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter. The world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. So are those two partners and the person that flew right. away was a this third is partner? our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. So we're off with Happy two targets, huh? All right. So easily the best thing about these games. They give you so many options how to kill your targets. I think some Welcome of them there are like 47. quests of like objectives you could follow Today to do it. Is the inauguration of the First time I'm just gonna see what I find. Well I'm just gonna walk around, explore. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Hmm. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Oh, where am I? Good luck, 47. I'm on top of the world! Literally. God, I'm above the cliff. What is that building? Hmm. 47. Come in, 47. Do you copy? I'm I jump. Here. Are you in position? I'm heading I can't. The point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Okay, that's like the target vision. Can you sprint? Where am I going down here? These are some giant pipes. Uh, up, oh, climb. How tall is this? Mm, locked. Forty-seven. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? How do you stand up? I think I can override the window's controls from here. Do what? Oh, equipment. Can I take pictures of my bodies? Or of the bodies I kill? Oh, can I take a selfie? I'm in position. 47, 
the inauguration now there's no option close by I don't have a gun Once you've infiltrated it get your bearings I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere understood we need absolute focus on this one if Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence we may lose them for good we are so close 47 don't worry. I mean how are they gonna escape the tower the one helicopter already left How do you go fast again? Isn't it LB? It is. All right. Uh, can I take some of these clothes? I don't think I'm gonna blend in here. Yep. Yep. Oh. Okay, that was really fast. Is this go? Oh wait, where should I? Hmm. Yeah, the webcam is fine there. It's got the targets on the left. Omar Al Ghazali, I bid you welcome to the center. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's bright. Welcome. Welcome. Can I take one? Nope. How lovely to see so many familiar, familiar faces here today. Now, this has been a dream of mine for a great many years. Why would you have this? How thick is this? Is dangerous? One bullet and you're done. Can't go over there. But with a small loan from my father, I soon built up a construction empire. This guy target. You see that? That means no go. So, I would like to thank. Oh, oh. I thought that guy was just eight feet tall. Okay. I don't even have a map of the area. So there's three stories you can follow. All these challenges. Fiber wire. This is... Angry Birdie. Eliminate Carl Ingram. By making him strike an explosive golf ball. Eliminate Carl by pushing, dumping, or pulling him over a ledger railing. Electrocute markers using the sun at the art installation. Is there no map? Huh. Thank you. I'm proud to yet again afford careful right to the surface. Will do. I think that's an objective I can follow. Listen. I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. I really don't want to follow the, the mission stories. I just want to try and eliminate them first go, however I feel like it. Usually that means shot to the head as open conflict, but let's try stealth. Let's just explore around. They're so far. The staff only? No, it's the toilet. Hello. Hi. I'm just gonna take a shit. No one in here. Can I go out here? Nope. Oh yeah, the game has magic toilets. Forgot about that. These are really luxurious bathrooms. Instead of stalls, the toilet has its entire room to itself. I could get somebody in here. But I can't really hide the body. It's a fine day today, isn't it, sir? Missing key card. Can I just overflow in front of you guys? Alright, let's keep looking around. The Sky is the Limit by Lucy Phillips. That oh, was just the okay. art exhibit. The guy in here? Oh, I just passed him. Right there. Yo. It's Marcus Stuyvesant. Providence. Picture. Got it.
partner, self-entitled and arrogant little worm. He might not look like much, but he's done more damage to the world than you could dream. Okay. I really need like a guard suit. Restricted access. Balcony over here. Why is there no map? Is it because it's a tower? It's still a mappy area. No other restricted. Alright. I'm in. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see her. Oh shit. What the hell are you doing here? I'm nowhere. Hey, Run. Huh. Ah, should probably take that lady out. Oh shit. They're coming up in the box. I'm gone, don't worry about it. Command, no visual on possible suspect. Moving to rendezvous, standing down, out. She saw a ghost. Alright, and we're good. I could take ladies' outfits, right? Doesn't matter. Hmm. I probably could have gotten that guy. I'm an idiot. Let's see if I can get one of them. Oh, Alright, bees cover. Got it. Okay, this goes here. Goes there. Right? Okay, let's do this. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Come here. Oh. Okay, you come with me over here. Put you in the box. Oh, I can't. Damn it. Wait, can I only take guys' outfits then? Why is that? Uh, missing crowbar. I mean, you're a guy. Hey, you. Fuck it. I've been recorded. Oh wait, did those chase you or follow you? Okay, him I could disguise as. Try to remember, did the cameras like alert guards? I don't think so. Alright, now I can walk around in here. What is going on out here? What are, what are these? Ow. Okay. Go higher up. Check out for the guy in the penthouse first. Oh. Oh. I should probably get like a guard suit or something. Who's that guy? He doesn't care. He's just a pilot. Where's this taking me? Oh, down the pipe? I don't know. 
Uh, I could probably take this guy out. Yep, oh, yep, no one's looking. Good disguise as him. Should give me clearance, right? I'm a pilot. I can go anywhere. Find you right here. There you go. Alright, sweet. Birder man. Uh, missing cr I gotta find a crowbar. Ooh, coin. I'll let you through if you give me a ride in your chopper. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. This area is not available at the moment. Fuck. Later, okay. Okay. Probably knock him out, but I don't know if that would cause sounds. I gotta sleep. Elevator. Fire alarm. Meeting room. Soda. Dr. Pep. Pop. Oh, finally a weapon. Maintenance room. Any uniforms in there? Ooh, rat poison. My favorite. Who would that alert? A guard? No one's wondering why this pilot is just walking around everywhere. Damn it. Thinking, is this guy really gonna stop me? And yes, he is. Area is restricted. So Taking the man. apple. Maybe you can get the guard who's sleeping. Wait, what did that say? Sit down. Oh, I gotta be disguised as somebody special. to remind you about the uh, lockdown drill tomorrow. That's right, 900 hours. And the key card to activate the alarm system in the safe is the zero code. Yeah, same code. Six, nine, two, seven. Just don't tell your mother or I'll have to shoot her. <laughs> okay. Okay, but remember, you need to activate the alarm on both floors, otherwise nothing's gonna happen. Good. Yeah, we'll do. Clues. Yeah, we'll shift tomorrow. I'll talk to you later. Bye. All right. Do I have to remember that? Hopefully not. Penthouse key card. Shit. Did he write it down anywhere? Uh. Shit. Six two something. Fuck. Ah, eh, whatever. He knocked out? He is. Okay, gotta move fast. Did no one hear the gunshots? Huh. Okay, both of you hide in there. Good boys. Take that. And I'll take this. Can I take both? I could. Haha. -ha. Banana. I'm definitely gonna kill someone with this. Oh, I'm playing solitaire. Wow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine? All diamonds? It's amazing. Oh. I go this way?
Uh, how can I get up? Shit. Where is he, right above me? What the hell is that? Maybe I should have followed one of the mission guides. That's just too easy, though. Probably distract this guy. Or not. Could use my coin. Or I guess I can do this. Uh, how do I get down? I'm afraid of heights. Oh. Suckers. Do I have access? No need to panic. Okay. I am getting free access everywhere. This is a nice room. Was this Eden or something? Why are there so many apples? Can I go in here? Can you tell me no? Okay. Issued one tomorrow morning. You know how it works? That a fire alarm? I don't. It's easy. Two of us are stationed up here and below by the card reader. We get an alert, we both swipe our cards, and bingo. Lockdown. Well, what if the other guard is using the bathroom? Well, it's time. So if that should happen, I should be able to run down and activate the other swipe as well. But I guess that will need a little practice. Uh, happy to not be at work tomorrow. Sounds like a lot of running around. I was gonna say, is Lucius or Greg enough to do yeah, the other one? But I guess I have to do both. Drills. Yeah. Just like fire drills. I'm just gonna try and get in there and kill the guy. See if I can bonk him on the head with an apple or something. Oh, you're suspicious. Okay. Uh, oh, he's covered with people. Let's just back downstairs. How do I get up there? Are you someone important? I mean, you're by yourself. Penthouse staff. What's more important, staff or guards? Hmm. That is not good. Guarded. Oh, as long as I have the gun. Uh. Shit, how do you drop it? Okay. I think it's... I should probably still go with the guard. More poison. Ooh, penhouse key. Another toilet. Oh, I can calm down. Speed up timer. I could poison him, I guess. I guess if I become a chef. Oh, I can easily bring this guy in here and become the chef. I could poison him. 
He'll probably go into this bathroom. I can drown him. Yeah, let's do that. Gotta get this guy in here. Over here, chef. I have coins, right? Yep. I seem to have dropped my quarter. That's how we roll. Come here. All right. Uh, now I need to put him away. First, I'll become him. Should probably not have a gun out as a chef. There you go. Uh, can I hide this? You can't really hide it anywhere, right? So let's drop it here. Hopefully that's hidden. Alright, time to cook. Hello. Poison the water bottle. Frying pan. Meat bone. Meaty bone. Excuse me. Oh, I could smack him over the head with a pan. Oh, I dropped it. Okay, prepare. I don't know what I'm cooking. Oh, that was nice. Alright. <clears throat> Poison that. Special seasoning, don't worry about it. Stinky. Alright, Mr. Ingram, your uh, food is ready. Play stuff down. Where is he anyway? Oh, he's coming. Huh? Sir, you need to pick that up. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I can't figure out how to put it back down. How do you place item? I am doing that. Oh, there it is. Okay. He's coming. I mean, yeah, it'd be funny to drown him. I'm gonna hide in the bathroom. Oh, he's coming that way. Did he see the gun? Oh, the quarter. Oh, okay. Hello, sir. It's Carl Ingram, Provident Freshly cooked meal right for you. Bald billionaire. A legendary uh, political excuse fix. me, can I come through here? His old money and as rotten as they come. Oh, he's walking that way with it. Sorry. That better be the toilet. That he runs off to. Oh, hopefully it doesn't have like a taste tester first. Blend in his card. Better view. Is it? Yep, me ain't feeling too good. Oh. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> uh, now I'll just drown him. And drop. Didn't even give him time to puke. He's probably still puking as he's drowning. All right, that's one down. Ingram finally gets what he deserves. Good riddance. Now let's get Marcus Stuyvesant. Hide you in the corner. Come here. Okay. Take my coin back, you son of a bitch. Alright, nice knowing you guys. Oh, that's the guard. Huh? 
That's good. That's good. Whoa. Super switch. Right. <laughs> oh, they took the gun. God damn it. That's why I wanted the guard suit so I could have the gun again. How do I get it out of here? How do I, how do I leave? Time to go back down. Where's this guy? There he is. Still lower, okay. Wonder how long until those guys go in the bathroom. Or would they just stay there forever? Security. Hello, gentlemen. Ooh, another banana and a key. Security key. I'll take that. Can't let you boys have this. What floor? Why is it cautious? Why is it? I don't know why it's cautious. Ooh. I'll take that. I can see the pores in your skin. Hey, don't make fun of my skin. I could just, <laughs> I could just yeet a letter opener into the guy's neck. Uh, all right, let's find him at least. If he got somebody guarding him, I could throw throw a banana at them. Letter opener at him. Another opportunity there. Oh, this guy's pretty guarded. I can get him, like, right now. Let me follow him around, see if he goes anywhere quiet. No, I got the letter opener, man. <laughs> or I could just stab him right now. What do I have? Still got the meaty bone. I really want to use that on someone. That's none of your business. Everything here is my business. You are my guest. Do you know that Carl is wondering why you are down here? Carl is not my keeper. You better keep your mouth shut. Carl has been drowned. Those are only filters. Okay, come on. Can you start moving around? Oh, I thought I could push him. Maybe that guard was away somewhere. Ah, why are you going down? I really want to do this as stealth as possible. Even though I was caught once, I wasn't caught everywhere. If that makes sense. Uh, how big's your walking pattern? This is a very nice place though. Whoa. Is that molten gold? Fancy. Oh, oh. It's a ghost. Got it on camera. Ready to go and car people are just keep popping in and out of nowhere. Also, I'm about to call this guy Carl. Where are you, Marcus? Did something pop up on my screen? What was that? Oh, he's getting pretty alone now. What's the update on my new god? My current 
one has been on duty for way too long. I need security that's sharp and focused. We still haven't heard from him yet. But we know he's in the building. I'm sure he's just waiting for his uniform. And he'll be up soon. I could be him. I'm here, but I don't like to be kept waiting. Make sure he has his papers and call me, okay? I'll call you as soon as he turns up. You better. Any papers, huh? I was really tempted to just fight everyone in here. I think these guys probably have guns. Ah, oh, this is the room. Staff only room? Oh, fuck. Hey, you put that away? No, it's just a camera, man. Alright. Fuck it. That guy didn't even notice. The exhibition, but I think she is kind of slow. Maybe you can help. Uh, I don't know. I can try. How did this guy not even notice? Have I got the bone again? I could. Sorry, I'm just backstage muscle. I don't know anything about the tech stuff. Okay, that doesn't really surprise me. Well, thank you for your help. Have a nice day. Age of forty-seven. Oh, there's a crowbar. Oh, damn it! Walk back. Okay, so far I've killed one guy that hasn't been my target. I probably would have just knocked him out. Probably with an apple. It's fine. Looking good, man. Looking Thank you. Good. At least you don't have a guard anymore. Some hammer. Okay, you're just really asking for it now. What could be fun? Uh, so, uh No, no, no. Come on, how do you read me over? Fuck. <laughs> we got him 47. Soon there will be no more providence. All right. Need to find an exit. Our Time to leave. Is done here, but it's far from over. Got him with the meat. Uh, how do I leave? All that guy saw was me go around the corner. A guy get hit by a meat and then his neck is snapped. Alright, we made it. How'd I change again? Hey, achievement. Death from above. Nope, didn't do any of that. Six, seven, eight, nine. I'll take nine out of the fifty there. All right, level two. Ooh, thirty minutes. Getting even worse. Damn, level four. I did none of the mission stories and nine of the 86 challenges. Huh. Okay. Uh, next. Starting look. Now oh, these are for that mission. A new starting location, two new starting locations, a new melee, a snow globe, and a kitchen hidden stash. Sweet. The man behind the curtain. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And, well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look. You don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did, she'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. 
Come on. I think what he's talking it. about. 47, I think, I you like the rain, killed Diane's parents on like a very old mission. I think. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. And... We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. That's probably the constant. The guy she had kidnapped. All right. So I don't even know how many, how many maps are there? Uh, how do you? Then I press next. I have to quit the main menu. Where are the feats here? Reunite the Stuvians. Exit while wearing a skydiving. Where do you have the skydiving suit? Take a photo of Marcus and the daughter. Mm -hmm. Take a photo of the sheik sleeping. Uh, <laughs> Can you have someone die because of a banana? <laughs> Push or dump anyone down in an elevator shaft. Classics. These are like the do it assassin times and stuff. Okay. Uh, so exit. All the. Oh wait, shit. That's a continue story on the right, didn't it? Yeah, there's only six. I think that's how many there are for all of them. Oh yeah, it's got all of the ones in here. So this is the first game. That was like the tutorial. That's like the real... Nope. Tutorial, the real first one. Two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, six plus tutorial. The second game, that's like another tutorial. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this one, there's no tutorial, but you just play the other ones. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, only six. Campaigns, side missions, sniper assassins back, challenges, mastery, inventory. How's my inventory looking? Got a snow globe in there? Yep. Ooh, the green streak suit. What is this? Fudo? Looks like super or something. Uh, store options. Okay. Let's uh, continue. Oh, yeah, they got. Uh... Wow, people are already making missions of their own. What? Get access. What comes in the deluxe? Nah, who knows. Okay, let's continue. Three. Top of the world. It is cool you can just play uh, any mission you want, anytime. Alright, death in the family. End of the line. It's like a mansion. She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. 
You ready for this? Are you? It's only the second mission. Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. I don't know what's up with this, but these cinematics don't look great. Alexa Carlisle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. She Carlyle, faked her death. Sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlyle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlyle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlyle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house. Meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. Ooh. This is where it all started, huh? And it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the constant. Information that may be helpful in his recapture. So don't leave the estate without it. Can I just sniper? Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. All right. Yeah, but the, the Cinemax, they don't look great. They kind of look like they're from PlayStation 3 era. Okay, just got the target and find the case file. Three stories. Try put her in her own grave. That's probably one of them. Planning. Um. I mean, yeah, might as well go with this stuff. I'm probably not welcome here anyway. Professional? Why not? Thornbridge Manor, the Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct people. Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. It's like knives out. The target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Oh, I thought I was going to ride that in there. Wow, that's actually pretty far. Oh, I thought that was the mansion. There it is. All right. Eliminate and find the case file. There's the PI. Maybe I can help him out. This is a private area, sir. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlisle. I could become him, probably. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlisle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlisle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Will do. I'm not going to follow it, but I might follow it. A that makes sense. Private oh, whoops. Summoned by Alexa Carla at, hey, a map. arrived at Thornbridge Manor. If you take his place, it may be an opportunity to get close to Madame Carlyle. I kind of want to become him. It's always fun to do stuff like that. Can I not go in there? I'm cut off. Damn it. Can I hop this? Oh.
Ah, shit. Alright, maybe I should come that uh, maintenance guy. Ooh, a brick. That'll be handy. Did not see those guys. Back to the brushes. How am I supposed to get anywhere? There's guards everywhere. You guys have any, like, spare suits anywhere or anything? There's two maintenance guys here. See if I can hide him in the bushes. Come with me. Does this count as hiding? I can't become him? Seriously? Why? What about you? Shit, shit. Take that, right? <laughs> you saw nothing. Talk to me. What's going on? Something bad's going down. You need to look into it. Do we have a description? No idea on Tango. Got it wiped in hell. Oi! Who is messing with the recently deceased? That is not acceptable. You know, I wasn't trying to shoot him, but okay. Into the bushes. Hey, buddy, what's up? Can I take this? Can I put it in my pocket? Nope. I'll take these. Ooh. Folding knife, what? Didn't fold at all. I still want to do the PI path. That one seems interesting. Baseball. It is Knives Out. <laughs> I saw the movie. I know what happens. It's Don Johnson in here. <laughs> That's funny. I don't have a lockpick, right? Nope. I'm trespassing? What? I'm security. Baby his coat and all. Rosie, you need to forget about Patrick. No good's gonna come of it. Stick to your own kind. You mean like Chris? You're treating me like shit. Come on, there's gotta be a suit in here. Soap. Lead pipe. There's probably something in that locker. Looking good. Still a lot to see to, but we're in good time. Zachary found me going upstairs today. He says it's everywhere. I never thought of it that way. John, it's going to be more soap. Apricot. Okay, I can walk here. Oh. Just one guy in there? Who are you? By example, rather than by words and meaningless gestures. I hug for this encouragement. This is a spontaneous career, so what I do is that. Right. I clearly remember when I was. 
was gonna try and shut the door. This guy might see everything. Shit. What do you do? Someone's in a world. Oh yeah, I can come on. Hi. Come here. Where'd you go? Hello. I can come back. Everyone's dying. Shit. Suck it. <laughs> okay, I'm reloading. Uh, to an auto save, hopefully. Okay. Couple minutes ago. <laughs> Alright, can't go for that guy. Ugh. Oh, there's a wrench in here. Uh... Yeah, fuck, let's just get someone in there. Oh, that's target. Would I still be on the PI path? Is anyone gonna come in here? Hey guys, the toilet's over or the sink's over flooding. Anyone gonna come in here? Okay, clog the toilet. Probably can't take a maid outfit. Car battery. Fuse cell. Screwdriver. Couple coins. Who is allowed to be in here? Oh. Come back for you, babies. Is there any disguise anywhere I could take? I don't even know who these guys are. Oh. Who's that guy? Is he one of the family members? Ah, the door's open. I need a quiet room. What can I do with this? Can I put it away? I could. Maybe I could sneak into a room the PI is in. Oh, I could be out here. Hi, right, how's it going? I found a fuse. It's a greenhouse? It's in here. I really need to unlock a lockpick. I think you get them in mastery. We'd only just run through his plan for the spring seedlings yesterday. Yes, sure. But he he was upset believing his sister was Crowbar. Can you that? It's illegal, right? Oh no. Nope, it is. I said they let it stay here. Uh, is there anything in there? What is that? Ooh, key. Uh, your security. Lawnmower. Gardener. Can you be a gardener? I can't become those other guys. Who is allowed in the house if I'm not? I'm just gearing up now.
Maybe this guy. Box over here. I'm gonna try and sneak him in there. No one look this way. Don't peek over the hedge, man. All right. That was only eight disguises on this map. So, security, mansion staff, the PI, then the, can you be like the, the, the regular people? All right, just gotta follow this guy until he's alone. You're supposed to be Don Johnson? Are you the Easter egg? That's probably, uh, Jamie Lee. Missing, oh. again. Say, what's a missing poison? He says it was finalized, but then how can it be withdrawn? Just wait a few days. I'm sure it will sort itself out. All right, can you please go somewhere alone, man? How am I supposed to change into you? Who is this guy? Get a picture of you. Odd resemblance to Madame Carlyle's daughter-in-law. That's a guy. Is he just staying in here this entire time? I think I heard the servant bell. Really? Because I didn't. Oh, what? Probably drop these on everyone. <laughs> Uh, I really want to become a PI. There we go. Oh, dinner bell. I got poison again. Hmm. You probably could fuck up these people in the hall. They'll probably see me over there. I could do this. You can't tell anyone. Hmm? That was weird. What the hell was that? <laughs> you fallen for my trap. You, can't you tell idiot. Anyone. Don't look out the window. <laughs> Sorry, James Bond. I'm taking this disguise. If you're dressed like a Detective 47, you might as well act the detective. I suggest you go talk to the butler. All right, I'm following this one because it's funny. Oh, Mr. Butler. Mr. Fernsby, I'm ready to see the crime scene. Very well, oh. Mr. Whitmer. If Where are the rest of the balls? Up. Hang on, hang on. Oh, he made it. But you just put a white in the white. Someone's gonna get pegged with this. I feel obliged to point out the current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You will probably learn that the staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Madam's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So please bear with them if they seem affected by the rather unusual situation. So why did she hire a PI I then? Trust I do not need to remind you. Just to make it look official? Consequences, if word gets out that Madam Carlyle is still alive, 
I'll consider her dead when I leave. Before you inspect the crime scene, I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Adam Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. Oh, someone was actually dead? The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, Madam Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. Okay. So a there was a murder. murder mystery 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Hello, Why Zachary. Why you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? Hang on. So, Zachary, how are we feeling today? Feeling any good? I can't take out my camera in my seat. Any, uh, strange nightmares? Anything unusual going on? You're quiet, one, ain't you? You're tough not to crack. <laughs> Who's that guy? <laughs> Alright. Uh, well... I like to take photos of all my patients, so give me a big, nice smile. Perfect. Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. I use a lot of them. Never know when that might come in handy. Uh, laptop. Zachary was shopping for new Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. <laughs> Look at that sale price. Wow. Buy them. Buy them right now. <laughs> 10 euros to 9.99 euros. Wow. <laughs> All right, what else I got here? Suicide note. Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. Hmm, clever. What else you got around here, Zachary? Ooh. A hidden door. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Hello. Was that a fake mirror? It's on the other side. Hmm. A photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thor. What do you know? Manor. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. Missing item. Wonder what you need. Is there no, uh... Oh, there's a one-way mirror. Didn't you say to authenticate the... Whatever of his thing? How hilarious it would be if you could put his suit on and then just walk around as him and be like, Zachary, you're alive? What's up, man? Sir. Ugh, just taking in the view. Ooh, what's this? Would that give me away? Okay. Also, I think I heard somewhere, like, any shortcut you unlock is, like, there forever. And now if I restart the game, this will be unlocked. Okay, that's true. That's pretty cool. Wait, no, I gotta... I just want to see what your uh, costume is. Bodyguard. Okay. I'll take this off your hands, too. Thank you. Uh, I should probably hide him somewhere. 
just in case. Let's go. You want to go in the bed with Zach? He's got a box in here. Yes, he does. Okay, in you go. Sleep tight. Who cares? Ah. One more time, I'm going offline. One man as bodyguard. Yeah, more info. Can I do Mr. Fernsby? I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, what do you know? I do not have an alibi. You guilty. You're going to get bricked. Here is the material that I prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case and I will take you to Madame Carlyle. Oh, I'm actually investigating. This is very useful information, 47. Okay. Gregory, the oldest child, Gregory is a suspect. The middle child, Edward. Rebecca, the youngest child. Wife of Gregory and daughter-in-law to Madame Carcile, Emma. Patrick, son of Emma and Gregory. And then the butler. This is so a real mur murder investigation. Murder mystery 47? Motive, means, and opportunity, I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects uh, yes, for alibis? Actually, or perhaps you prefer searching the manor for clues first? Boredom, you think I care if you're busy? I'm trying to talk to you, you little shit. Why are you all up in my face, How's mister? Please, Very well, Mr. behave. Make sure you focus Shut up. I will. Patrick Carlyle. Can you tell me where you were so yesterday yourself evening, around young Mr. Patrick? Shit, Don't worry about me. It's that sneaky butler, isn't it? He ratted me out. Elaine... Give us some privacy, would you? Don't tell mother, okay? Just lay the broom She's on the ground. Really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. Hang on. Set everything to the camera. To blonde, um, Rosie, uh, for an evening stroll. I, I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shit hole? I'm bored out of my mind. If that's all, I think I'll get back to my slow death by boredom. Maybe you're trying something new when you're bored. Maybe you try to take a life. Life of Zachary. No? Sorry, man, but okay. you're just making me feel a little uncomfortable now. Okay? Still got a question. Are the people... Where are they at? Was one of them in here? Are you one of them? Can you get the fuck off the piano? Fuck, I'll go talk to someone else. You, are you busy? You're reading the paper. Gregory Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, you're wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious sister, and a wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. <laughs> the, the short of it, Zachary was very much alive when we left. I stayed for the last shout, and I was back here just before midnight. Is that all? Not very thorough, are you? I'm learning. Yep. Talk Carlin, to you. Can you tell me where you were <laughs> yesterday evening? 
Surely I'm not a suspect. That's Everyone's a suspect. For everyone. Well, I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Everyone can attest to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around eight o'clock. Is that all? I guess so. No. How did you feel about Zachary? I might as well be honest. His presence was always awkward. How do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? In my opinion, Alexa bears some responsibility for how this ended. She supported his self-limiting behavior by letting him live here. Anything else you want to know? Have you noticed anything Should else? Probably go back and ask the other people these questions. Nothing special comes to mind. Except, perhaps, I did get a feeling that Zachary was depressed, not just sad. I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa gone. Even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one, letting him believe she was dead. Then again, guilt isn't her strong suit. Oh yeah, he never realized she wasn't dead. They found out this morning. They keep asking him? Oh. Tell me about Zachary. Zach! <laughs> Such a sad old sod. A bit heavy on the bottle. But who could blame him? The only company he had was his rare plants and mother, who travels more than she stays here. Honestly, I can't say which is the bigger ball. He's better off dead. Anything else you want to buy that. from my... Anything else you'd like to tell me? Nothing, really. I'm just enjoying the show. Our perfect mother obviously fucked up, didn't she? Faking her own death. You know, she's explained nothing to us. I think she's scared to own up to her own mistake. Okay. So far, my money's on Emma. You. Professor Edward Carlyle, can you tell me your whereabouts for last night? Oh, yes. This dreadful business with Zachary. I stay at the local inn. You see, I prefer not to spend the night here at Thornbridge Manor. My brother Gregory came along for a nightcap. He'd never admit it, but I think he understands that I find this whole thing upsetting and wanted to provide some comfort. I believe we went to the stag's head around half past eight. If that's all, I have a speech to write. Can you tell me about Zachary's behavior last night? I certainly didn't expect him to commit suicide. Sure, he was upset by mother's supposed death. We were. But he seemed more engaged than usual. You should ask Rebecca. They had a long talk. Did you know that he hadn't left Thornbridge Manor in nearly 50 years? His plants, mother, and the staff were all the company he had. Anything else I can do? Keep mentioning his plants. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? You mean apart from the fact that we came here to bury our mother and she shows up alive and kicking? Zachary found dead in his bed this morning? Or perhaps that the planned funeral is still taking place and I have to do the eulogy? And all the above. I'm surely of strong opinion on it. This guy seems like too much of a pussy to do it. Uh, who else is there? Alright, so th th those two are clear. Their alibi have been confirmed. So they hung out past eight? Around eight? <laughs> Why is that there? Uh... Oh, there's some clues to be found. Emma in Gregory's room, Rebecca's room, Fernsby's. No, not yet. Um. Yep, so she's not clear yet. Gotta find Rebecca. I gotta go question that little shit again. You're Rebecca. Rebecca, Carla. Can you tell me about yesterday evening? We don't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together, and even then, it's not like we sit on each other's laps. Now, let's see. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared straight after dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Edward wanted to go as well, but Gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local at a quarter to nine. 
I swear Gregory enjoys Edward's discomfort over staying here. I had a conference call with my New York office at nine, so I spent three hours on my laptop in my room and went straight to bed afterwards. I don't know about Emma. Probably go check her computer. She did act a bit strange. You know, I bet she was making lists for changes needing to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when Mother arrived during breakfast. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Yes. Tell me about Zachary. Did he act strange last night? You know, now you mention it, he was a lot more chatty than usual. He wanted to know about my connections in the publishing business. Apparently, Hello. a friend of his is writing a book, which strikes me as very peculiar. I didn't think he had any friends. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? Anything else you feel like mentioning? I may be wrong, but I saw Mr. Fernsby, the butler, leave Zachary's room early this afternoon. And he seemed a bit startled when he saw me in the hallway. It's probably nothing. Oh, and one more thing. Please be kind to Edward. He can only take so much. Is there anything else you want to ask me? I guess not. So she seems to be against Rebecca. What's up? Alright. Bird. Two birds. Oh, find the case file. Do you have it? Another few cell. Why is this guy question marked? Oh. How are you today, sir? Anyone feel like getting poisoned? Nope. Okay. All right, let me go question that kid again. Can I question the butler anymore? What did you think of Zachary? Oh, creepy as hell. No ambition. Imagine deciding to live in a museum. You know, father says Zachary and Alexi used to be two of a kind. He had a great future ahead of him. Then suddenly, he just gave up everything. What an idiot. Thank God daddy chose looks and brains over pedigree when he married mummy. I don't have to worry about the inbreedings her customary in these circles. So, is that it? Did you see anything suspicious last night? No. I reckon Zachary topped himself. I know I would have. Or perhaps Mr. Fernsby. I don't like him. He could have done it. Okay. All right, please, Boger. So he's questions he's not clear yet. Probably go check the rooms. Probably confirm their stories somehow. I don't even know where the rooms are. You're just making it too easy, man. That is the door to Rebecca's room. Uh, okay. Definitely use the crow bar. There she is. Is there a secret way in there from here? Nope. Maybe out the window. You can stand and do this, right? Yeah. Alright, no one's in there. Alright, she said she was on her computer. I can see from the log that Rebecca was in a conference call from 9 p.m. to midnight last night. Alright, so she's clear, right? Yep. Emma's still looking good for the suspect. Still another clue in here. Do all these rooms have traps? Wait, why is that in the... There's a peephole to the bathroom?
Is there another clue in here? Or is that it? Is there a laptop and something else? There's nothing else in here. Where's that marker on the map? Why is there... Oh, camera intel. The box? The mirror? The fireplace? What am I taking a picture of? Oh. Wait, what does that say? Uh, Rebecca's notebook found in the bedroom. She's saying these notes concern various... Concern various Charlie's assets as well as board meeting from the night before. The handwriting does not match Zachary's suicide note. Okay, so she's clear. She's 100% clear. House cleaning. Uh, that's the bathroom. I should go check his room again. Hi. There's camera intel right over here. Was it just his body? Oh. A yeah, whiskey glass and bottle found on Zachary's bedside table. That's the clue. Okay. I mean, the butler would make sense to come in here. What is this room? I probably take those guys out, no problem. I'll come back. Is that a bust? What is that? Yep. Oh. Blow the building up. Uh, the bathroom? Very green bathroom. That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. Time for some sneaky time. Oh, keep going. Hopefully there's a window into here. Where the balcony? It's a good thing no one knows how to look up. Okay, what do we got in here? Blower opener. I found the murder weapon. Now, this is interesting, 47. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Alexa's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. The plot thickens. Oh, so wait, Emma and Gregory are related? <laughs> All right, looking more suspicious now, Emma. What's that? Greenhouse keychain. Oh. A keychain pendant for the greenhouse. Why is that what in is here? What's that doing in Emma and Gregory's room, I wonder? And why is the key missing? Oh, a walking cane. Yes, please. There's bath in the middle of the room. Nope. I got too much shit. Shoes and footprints. Shoes and footprints found in app. Where were the footprints? No. Oh. The dirt? Huh. Emma's looking more and more suspicious. Alright, that's all the clues in here. Uh, who else? 
back off. Fernsby's office, the greenhouse. Those last two. Where's his office at? Probably on the first floor, right? Can I use this as a weapon? I think it was the kid. The kid. What reason would he have? He's a kid. Where's the butler's office? That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office. Huh. How do you get in there? Other than breaking the door. Some of the delivery people were unhappy with the security at the gate. What? But why is safe with Ethel? She never misses a step. Gossiping and word both. I can't deal with all this pretend funeral stuff. Just oh, they're all having like a meeting. I know I have to, but Amy thinks she might be pregnant. Oh, come on. You'll be fine, Robbie. Kids are great. Come on. Oh, the sink. About time. Nope, close that. Alright. Fuck it. Ooh, master key. Fire poker. List. A list written by Mr. Fernsby, the butler. It deta detail it details various preparations for tomorrow's pretend funeral. In a photo shoot scheduled for today by the fountain in the garden. The handwriting does not match Zachary's note. Golf club. Poison pill jar. Lethal. Oh. Use enough of them. But not oh. the poison used to kill Zachary. Oh. Of course, Madame Carlyle doesn't know that. Are you considering to frame the butler, 47? No? Why would I do that? Well, he's clear, right? I mean, it's a different poison. Notes don't match. I guess I'll go check out the greenhouse and then that's it. Do you have anything more th things in the his office? There's one more. Huh. Oh, wait. Half burned diary. diary. This is big. Uh, no. The Zachary's diary found half burnt in the fireplace in Mr. Fernsby's office. The diary details how Zachary and Alexa conspired to murder their older brother, Montgomery, and how Mr. Fernsby helped them cover it up as an accident. Zachary was still plagued by guilt, with, and with Luxa presumed dead, he planned to publicly confess his crimes. Ah. Oh. Curiously, the handwriting does not match the suicide note found in Zachary's room, so it definitely wasn't Zachary's handwriting. We can rule out suicide. <laughs> Viable suspect. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother, Montgomery, 46 years ago. And apparently... Not Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. And 47, the handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter in his room. Very interesting. Very interesting. He didn't write it himself. What's Mr. in here? Mr. Fernsby clearly didn't commit the murder, but I think you have enough evidence to convince Madame Carlyle he did. Maybe you should tell him you are ready to present your findings. Unless, of course, you want to do some more detecting, 47? It's always blame the butler. It's got to be someone more specific. The answer's got to be in the green room. A 
Still gotta find the case file. I don't know why it was highlighting that one guy. Wait, what did I pick up? Did I pick up the key? Or is it the key chain? Shit. Nope. Put too much time into this. Oh, that was just now. How about this side? I understand why you're blocked. Blocked off. Uh, that guy might be suspicious. Guy's walking over there. Emma. Can I question you about your... Nope. Emma Carlisle in the Thank you. House. How curious. <laughs> That works. Broken lab equipment. It looks like it was recently used, though. Sure, you were. Well, anyway, I'll be outside if you need me. I'm gonna strangle you right now. Turn around. Don't worry, I'll just be investigating in here. Repair distillation kit. Ah, oh, poisonous flower. Would this have been it. Boat key. And then this. This is a table showing lethal dosages for the poison used to kill Zachary. Something is circled 47. Female, age 65 to 79, 60 to 64 kilograms. I'd say Madame Carlyle is next in line for a poisoning. Hmm. You have uncovered enough evidence to tell Madame Carlyle that Emma is the murderer. Quite the detective, 47. I'm impressed. Well, I want to see what this does. I suggest you go tell Mr. Fernsby. Unless you think there are more secrets to uncover. Ooh. Uh, two out of two. Family photo, Edward speech. That was just miscellaneous, miscellaneous stuff. All those clues, all those clues, all those clues, all those clues. How has he not been uh, excused yet? Uh, okay. Um, take another wrench. Why not? Oh, can you kill everyone here? Left alone, okay? Low flashback. I found fuses. That's probably what the quest is about. So I can either blame the butler or Emma. I mean, I put all my money on Emma. So I might as well do her. I am ready to present my conclusion to Madame Carlyle. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. Or am I just going this way just to get close to her and alone with her? No. Oh, thought that was another feather duster. That was suspicious as fuck. Why'd you go into the green room and she was like, I, 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 I'm in here to think about Zachary. Sure you were, bitch. Oh, she's coming up. Looking good today, sir. Thank you. I gotta throw a knife in her face right now and be done with it. There's not that much security here. I could probably just kill everyone. Get him out of these people are just staff. I'd really like to see if I knock out like the uh any of the family members, if I become them. Or if I could become them.
I haven't even been up here yet. Did I ever find out what matched Zachary's handwriting? This is Madame Carlyle's office. Please step inside. In here? Big office. Big eagle. Imperial egg? What? Hey, how are you? Hi. Just looking around, don't mind me. An apple. Letter opener. Painting over there. Another secret room. Your detective skills have gained you access to the lion's den, 47. Now, go claim your reward. Could probably twist that. So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat, please. I already have. Go ahead. Ah. It was Emma. My niece, Emma Carlyle, murdered your brother, Zachary. My niece? Emma is not my niece. She's my daughter-in-law. And your niece. Emma is the illegitimate child of your late older brother, Montgomery, who you and Zachary killed. 46 years ago. That's preposterous. You asked me to find out what happened to Zachary. Would you rather not know? No. No, go on. I found a letter from Emmer's mother, Jane, who was the fiance of your older brother at the time of his death. She witnessed how you and Zachary pushed him off the balcony. She believed you did it to steal the Carlisle Empire from her and her unborn child. And she raised Emma to reclaim what she lost. Marry your heir, Gregory. Get revenge and secure the Carlisle Empire for her bloodline generations to come. Emma is the daughter of Montgomery and that local girl, Jane. She is. Well, the girl got it wrong. I didn't steal anything. I did what was necessary to protect the future of the Carlisles. Montgomery wasn't cut out to take over from father. All heart and no balls. Emma used the funeral gathering to speed up her installment as the lady of the house, seizing the opportunity to stage Zachary's suicide. She did her homework, used a poison made from one of Zachary's rare plants, found old floor plans from Thornbridge Manor to gain access to his room through a secret passage. That scheming... Bitch. More than you think. I found proof that she will try to poison you next. Well, oh, hello, uh, cookies. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. You have not disappointed. I promised you I would reward you generously if you solved the case. So, what do you suggest? Uh, oh, the case file will work. I want the file you have on Arthur Edwards. Edwards, the constant. But how do you... Oh, I'm a detective. I know everything. I expected you might show up. But to kill me, not help me. But I've been wrong on so many things lately, so why not this one? I will give you the file on Edwards. You've earned it. I don't suppose I could convince you to deal with my daughter-in-law now you're here. I would like to see her dead. Can I throw anything else in the pot? No. Or... What a shame. No. Oh. I'll have to see to it some other way then. May I recommend Hitman Agent 47? Oh, is that where the case file was? The file you want is in the safe. God, I hope you get Edwards and know him hurt. I need some privacy. Thank you. Thank you. All right, case file. Got it. Good work, 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. I know what I'm gonna do. What? See ya! Oh! Mission complete. Well done, 47. Uh, what? 
Can you go all the way on the roof? What's up here? Oh. Alright, well. Detective work done. Time to leave. Did I get the boat keys? Where's the Jinx, boat? Sir. Wait, huh? Yeah, the boat. Does that... Is that like an exit? Or is that just a boat? I want to find out quick. Red leader, one actual here. There's been an accident over there. What happened? They wouldn't be suspicious of me, would they? I just solved the murder. I solved one murder, caused another. Guys, I think your mother's dead. Let's come take a look outside. You already got her in the back. I want to take a picture. Oh, look, another baseball. Where is the boat? Is it on the map anywhere? Hey, what is this room? I re There's an entire place I haven't been to yet. Really? All right, let me take a quick look around the perimeter. Gotta find this boat. Can I take it and leave? I have the keys. Why can't I? What? You have to like cause something else to happen in order to take it? Alright, last thing I'm gonna go check out that little hut. Never been there yet. Also, I like how she literally just died. Like, no reactions from anyone. Madam Carlyle wants to inspect the arrangements for the stage funeral tomorrow. What's the delay? Oh, this is supposed to be the... Yeah, that's where she's supposed to be buried. I guess she will be now. Oh, you could probably put her in her barrier. <laughs> so fucked up. It's gonna be so fun to do later on. Trying to hit a bird? What is that? Come on, pick that up. <laughs> well, I can't, man. It's in the water. I can't go there. That's out of bounds. What is this, like a burned down part of the house? Garage area? So there is no funeral, not if you ask me. Well, I still think it's going to be a beautiful derby. Okay, we're ready to leave. Well, that was a fun mission. <laughs> I liked it. I like the whole knives out. Uh, Easter eggs and like basically the whole premise. Murder mystery, so. where you are the investigator. You can give her a real one now. You're welcome. Saved your all money. Uh, can I leave from here? Yep. Forty-seven. They're everywhere. Go, get out. It's the Constantine. Shit. Uh oh. What's up? Something's going on, boys. Something really bad's going on. Can you believe it? Gotcha. 
You guys see that? Something weird's going on. I gotta leave. My boys need me. Body found. Alright, let's leave. I'm taking this PI cardigan. What's going on back at base? Constant found you? Master of the household. Yeah, yeah, offline. Uh, next. You owe him nothing. Did Gray just die? And then there were none. Thank you, Miss Burnwood. Now, it's my turn. Oh, he's dying out. Stay down. Boss wants you alive. Yeah? How about now? Walk away, <laughs> or what? You a lot of people. On? Don't. <laughs> Tell the constant to start running. Oof. Saved my life. You think you've won? Forty-seven is out there, and forty-seven never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me, you owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other, and I meant it. I'll look forward to your call. Now, are those her parents? <laughs> I like how I sent him the subtitle brackets 47's contract to assassinate Diane's parents. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. Who are you talking to? We're all that's left now. Who's we? You have more partners I know about? Damn. I just got to know Gray too. Apex Predator. Oh. Okay, well, I'm going to leave the stream here. Uh, back to the main menu. I'm enjoying this. I really wish I, uh, like, really re played through or remembered what happened in the old games. <sighs> I'm trying to think. The first one, you're contracted by the ICA to kill targets that you find out are from Providence. And then you work with Providence to try and find the Shadow, the Gray, whatever his codename was, the Shadow Contract or something. Then you find out it's Gray, your lifelong friend, who help convinces you to help him take down Providence. And then you get your memories back of your life before you lost them. And then you find out that the person like in charge of Providence I think is the constant in the three partners or whatever I think that's it I gotta replay these at some point okay well yeah I'm gonna leave this one here we'll probably finish the game in one or two more streams and I might play around a bit some of the other some of the maps see the other ways you can kill some targets but yeah that's gonna be it for now but if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. Be sure over down below, leave a like, subscribe, and share. Leave a like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.